recover. What new injuries you have, you always have some. Uh, maybe more the case for Piet van den Berg than for El Atiawi, who had a, a shorter fight, but there's always something. And I'd be very curious to see as the fight right. starts how van den Berg copes it now. Because in the first fight, he was a little bit reckless and wild in the beginning. There's a lot of support here. Maybe that got him a little bit nervous. Maybe he found his footing a little bit more. Let's see how it goes. It's El Atiawi on the hunt right away. Being the fresher fighter, probably. Has more energy. Preserved and might want to reproduce that quarter final first round knockout. Let's see if he can do that again. You can hear the crowd cheering on their favorite Pete for the Bennett. It is Alat Yawi who's putting on the pressure and looking for the chin of Van der Berg. Low kick, counted by body kick on the back, but it's Alatiawi looking for the big punch. Oh, good counter left hook there from Alatiawi. Oh, and then what's that? The kick on the block. And that means an eight count for Alatiawi. That's never a good sign in the beginning of this fight. Just under a minute into the first round. And then Alatiawi smells blood. Knows that leg is compromised. He's looking for that low, red low kick, probably. So keeping it in the boxing. But watch out for that right low kick any minute. If he's smart, at least. That's his small. Yeah, there it is. His shortest road to victory here. And, and immediately puts a stamp on this fight. Good. Heavy punches. Followed by a body kick by Ayat Yawi. Corner screaming at him to throw that right low kick, which he should. Knowing that that left leg of Van der Berg is compromised. So far, this punch is a good knee to the body that seemed to do some damage. Good body shots there, mixing up. I like how he's mixing up the punches, going low, going high. Not just a head hunter. But I would like to see him mix it a little bit more with kicks, low kicks specifically, since. That's it. You can see also the bruises on the right leg of Van der Berg, probably from his first fight. Damage he took in that fight. Against Italian Podesta. So far into the last 30 seconds of this first round. He's still standing. Still in this. And as we saw in the first fight, he recovered from a knockdown in the first round, just like now, and he went on to win the fight in the third round. So don't count him out just yet. Final second of this round, uh, but his leg is really hurting him. Just another kick. Uh, should look for that low kick. He makes it out of the first round. There we go. Second round on the way. Okay, bouncing up and down. Calm and collected. Probably looking for an explosion anytime now. Uh, just trying to. Save, what is there? Save, saving. Good body shot there. Counted with left hook by Van der Berg. Knee to the body. Still very much in this fight. He needs to be careful not to get caught though. Yes, come on, shouting for the low kick. He made it there by Van der Berg. He's good with the knees and the clinch, Van der Berg. Well, that's definitely something he can use when uh, Atiawi moves in close. A little bit blood on the nose of uh, Latiawi also. Well, he's definitely the aggressor. Then another good knee from the Berg. Eats a couple though. Moves out of the corner. Good movement. Like the footwork. Fighting a much better fight now than in the first fight uh, from the Berg. But he is on the back foot though. And you can see definitely the power advantage as well uh, with El Atiawi. Eats another left hook there. And a right one. And this is where he should throw the knee. No. Referee breaks it up. And breaks it up again. Good body kick there by Van der Berg. Good flurry of punches. You can see the power. He's really looking for that. Damaging, finishing shot, perhaps. 
Good body shot, but then again with the knee from the bear. There's definitely some success in there for him. You know, you always invest in the body, takes away your air. Makes you fatigue sooner. Instead of just head hunting. Oh, good. Heavy punches landed there, but Atiawi. And again with the low kick. It is a fight here, ladies and gentlemen. It's definitely a fight. A little bit tip for that hit. Uh, Atiawi having better of the exchanges, but for the Bears, it's definitely in there. Definitely still trying to win this fight. Better than Bruce as he might be. Good combination there. Finish with the low kick inside. Yeah, very nice done. Nicely done. And then again comes El Yawi. And at some point, the Bear already fought three hard rounds in his first fight. Fatigue is going to play a factor. Who deals with it the most? Who wants it the most? who has the strongest willpower, who can cope with the pain the most. Another good low kick there. And we make it out of the second round. So we see a third round in this fight. To get some more extra damage and fatigue if they move into the final. There we go, round number three. Who wants it most? Oh, tries a jumping knee. Meanwhile, two gentlemen in the dressing room enjoying this, knowing that these guys are beating each other up. So whoever wins this will have some damage, will have some fatigue, will suffer from it maybe later, but that's later. First, have to win this fight to make it to the final. To start with, good body shot, a little rip to the body by Alato, another one. And a low, low kick counter from Van der Berg, and another one. Yeah, good rip to the body, but as I said, oh, too, he, he needs to mix up with the kicks a little bit more. He's just looking for the big shots now. There we go, with a low kick. Maybe set it up a bit more. Oh, good. Faint to the low kick, go over the top with the right hand. And that comes from the back again. What a heart has this young man. Definitely need to give him credit for his fighting spirit. Refusing to give up. All battered, bruised. But still fighting like a lion here in this third round. But it is definitely Al Asiawi who is controlling the pace here. Being the aggressor the most of the time, putting on the pressure. Wild swings there. Good. Low into the head. Back on the berg. Oh. And you can see the fatigue kicking in, especially with Van der Berg. Those knees are not as effective as they were in the previous round. Missing a little bit of snap. And another good low kick. Could it be that Atiawi maybe has an injury himself and he's not from the low kick that often? Who knows? Uh, he knows. We can only guess that's not a good low kick. And another one, the other side. Just single shots now, although from the Moroccan fighter. No more combination. There we go. Another flurry of punches. As we approach the last 20 seconds of this first semi final. Jetman tournament, the winner has said, gets a shot at the at the infusion middleweight world title next month. What a fight, what a fight, great fight, two real warriors taking it the distance. Who will win this fight? The judges will let us know. And there were uh, a lot of highlights. Here we see him uh, walking out. Where everything is still on the table. He's going to take his fight. Good start from both gentlemen. And there we see the, yeah, a little bit of the freak accident where Van der Berg throws a kick and missteps or hits a nerve. 
We don't know. Anyway, Delaware tries to capitalize on it. Doesn't manage to finish him, but he does keep control of the fight. Although for the Berg, kept fighting back, and especially in this second round. He scored some good knees in the clinch whenever Altiao moved in. Tried to land some good counters. Here's another one of those knees. But it was the bigger power punches from El Atiawi, who did most of the damage. There's a little bit too much headhunting in the end. A little bit looking for that big shot. But in the end, I think he did enough to win. But who knows? Only Tom Wesley knows. He has the score in his hand. So let's wait no further as we see the last exchanges in this great semi final. Well, first of all, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to make a big applause for these two fighters. Sufjan, Elat Yawi, and Piet van den Berg. Well, after three rounds of three minutes, we've counted the points and we have a winner and first finalist. And the winner and first finalist is the man in the blue corner, Sufjan Elat Yawi. Well done, Sufjan Elat Yawi gets it done by decision. And he is the first finalist of this eight-man tournament. And he can now go back to his dressing room. Ice his shins, maybe recover, meditate, whatever he needs to do to get the focus back for the last fight. And maybe watch the second semi-final to see who will be his well, opponent. Appreciation and a big applause.